So today's topic is how Siemens Industrial Edge and Mendix are redefining manufacturing. So I'll walk you through the agenda. So the agenda for today's session is how uh, I'll introduce to I'll introduce you to the Siemens Industrial Edge and uh, introduction to in, uh, Industrial Edge ecosystem, uh, the features of Edge and its modular architecture, and how Mendix helps in transforming the applications in the Industrial Edge layer. And uh, the last one is the benefits of implementing industrial edge devices. So the first topic, Siemens, Siemens industrial edge devices are part of Siemens industrial edge portfolio, uh, which brings focuses on computing power, data processing, analytics closer to the source of data in industrial environments. These devices are basically designed to enhance the efficiency, flexibility, and capabilities of industrial operations by performing edge computing tasks. And uh, the Siemens industrial edge devices are capable of offering uh, edge computing, flexibility and scalability, integration with industrial systems, data management and analytics. And they are also good with security and reliability. So the second slide and this slide focuses on edge computing and how it helps close the gap between automation and the cloud. Here's a breakdown for the key points. So edge computing closing the gap between automation and cloud. This suggests that edge computing addresses some of the limitations of cloud technology, especially in the context of automation. So it basically highlights the differences between pure cloud technology and edge computing, particularly in terms of the limitations and benefits. So the limitations, first I'll show you the limitations of pure cloud technology. So physical limitations are issues such as round trip times, that is latency and bandwidth limitations can affect the performance when relying solely on cloud services. So legal concerns around data ownership and liability arises when using cloud platforms as data stored offsite. And economically, the cost of data transfer, storage and computing power can be higher when relying purely on cloud technology. And uh, the benefits of edge computing are functional enhancements such as edge computing provides additional functionality on the shop floor, such as analytics, processing and analyzing data locally at the edge rather than sending everything to the cloud and pre-processing handling raw data at the source before sending critical insights to the cloud, reducing bandwidth and computational loads and the decentral intelligence using local processing units, edge device to make real-time decisions without the need for cloud computing. Short innovation cycles such as edge computing allows for faster iterations and innovations in IT and automation processes because updates can be deployed at the local level without needing to wait for cloud service updates. So this image represents the uh, edge device connecting the both machines and PLCs or controllers of the machines. And you can see the shift of functionalities in the in the uh, deck. So Siemens Industrial Edge essentially comprises three aspects, a centralized management infrastructure for the edge, backend that enables the administration and management of the distributed edge devices. So edge devices, which provides a hardware and software infrastructure for running edge apps in the production. Edge apps that provide functionality to the edge devices, including data analysis, uh, advanced diagnostics, and more. So there are three layers in the Siemens Industrial Edge system. So the three layers are classified as the Industrial Edge devices, the base layer, which interacts with the machine or PLC or the control of the machines. And second one is the Industrial Edge Management, where you control the edge device. And third one is the Industrial Edge Hub. So I'll be explaining in detail. Uh, first one is the Industrial Edge. Industrial Edge is computing about distributed computing technology being available directly where the data is generated. In order to use this data, it must be collected and processed by so-called the edge devices. The simplest edge device is a basic industrial PC with additional edge runtime software that provides the industrial PC with additional features. Connectivity for the data acquisition, driver toolbox for accessing device functions, for example, CPU or mass memory. Connectivity for edge management software, a secure app environment for executing functions on the edge device comparable to the Android mobile phone operating system. The system provides the infrastructure to securely run apps on the devices, such as a mobile phone. Edge management and edge management system is a central infrastructure for managing all connected edge devices. And uh, it can also be best described as uh, an edge cockpit. The edge management system allows you to monitor the status of each connected device 
another functions is to move edge apps and software functions on the desired edge devices from the cloud to production so that they can actually be used as a edge devices both edge devices uh, and uh, uh, edge devices such as semantic edge and numeric edge both work with the same edge management devices so edge edge devices are classified into many types so majorly used edge devices are semantic edge and numeric edge so the, both are industrial edge devices commonly used industrial edge devices so next I'll proceed with the industrial hub, edge hub, a centralized management infrastructure for the edge backend that enables the administration and management of the distribu distributed edge devices. So this will monitor all the logins, securities, access, those all can be controlled by uh, industrial edge hub. So entry point of setup, supervising and management for industrial edge devices, instances and edge software. Central updates, services for industrial edge concerning security, device firmware, apps, or industrial edge management installations, central licenses management, cockpit for edge device and devices tailored to industrial purchases. And uh, using industrial edge hub, you can uh, purchase the apps via marketplace. So marketplace is uh, all the apps uh, available from Siemens and third party apps. You can purchase from the marketplace. Access to development tools and documentations also manages industrial edge instances, industrial edge software, security updates, and system apps. You can also uh, go through the documentations and development tools, which is available in the industrial edge hub. So the slide Siemens Industrial IoT, our open technology stack from edge to cloud. So this slide basically explains the Siemens, Siemens Industrial Edge IIoT technology, that is industrial Internet of Things, focusing on an open ecosystem from edge to cloud. Here is the breakdown of the different layers and components involved. So first is the data source. Input protocol includes a variety of industrial protocols and systems such as OPC UA, Semantic S7, Modbus TCP, Ethernet, IP, and others. These protocols represent the different ways that the devices on the shop floor communicate and send data. So SCADA, historical or MES data. SCADA is basically supervision, control, and data acquisition. So this is basic word in any digitalization. So if you want to digitalize your plant, you need you must to have a SCADA layer. Industrial systems that provide critical data from various machines and processes sources, which are fed into the IIoT ecosystem. At the shop floor level, we have industrial edge device. This is where data processing begins. The edge device acts as an intermediary between the machines and uh, the enterprise or cloud level. Industrial edge applications, applications such as my app, processing, visualization, low code development. Uh, low code development can be done via Mentix and data services operate at the edge level to process real time data on site. Industrial edge data services. Uh, the information hub that allows data from various sources to be ingested, processed, and sent upwards for further analysis. Industrial edge connectors. These are the connectors that allow seamless integration between edge applications, devices, and enterprise systems. Industrial edge runtime runs on the edge applications and services that operate on the devices. So device firmware supports firmware updates and management on edge devices. And if you see at the enterprise level, we have uh, some points such as industrial edge management, a uh, platform for overseeing edge applications, lifecycle management, and handling edge devices across multiple locations. And we have edge app lifecycle and firmware management. This section is responsible for managing the lifecycle of apps and uh, ensuring firmware updates. Data and asset model sync, ensure that asset data and models are synchronized between the edge and enterprise doubles. And enterprise levels integrations is also possible with Edge, which integrates the IoT data with enterprise systems, including MES and ERP systems. So industrial IoT as a service, uh, cloud or on-premise deployment is possible. Provides the flexibility of deploying IoT solutions either on-premise or in the cloud, depending on the business needs and depending on the end users. It will give their it will give them a view how to take it further. Applications and services, processing and visualizations, various IoT apps for processing data, developing solutions and managing assets. Semantic services, data modeling, data sharing, core services for structuring, analyzing, and distributing data across the network. Connectivity services, I IoT storages and analytics services. SaaS metering enables data connectivity, storage analytics, and 
service metering. Identity federations, remote services, supports for user identity management, and remote monitoring for control services. So this is an interesting topic, marketplaces. Industrial IoT marketplaces includes a collection of edge apps, MindSphere apps, hybrid apps, and third-party apps applications. These marketplaces offer access to Siemens and third-party apps that can be deployed on the edge or cloud systems, enabling business to customize their IoT environment. And uh, the IoT infrastructure cloud providers supports for various cloud platforms, including uh, AWS, Azure, IBM, Red Hat, and Alibaba Cloud, to ensure businesses can deploy their IoT infrastructure on their preferred cloud service. So the key takeaways are the Siemens Industrial IoT Stack supports the full journey from shop floor data collection to cloud-based enterprise management. And it is uh, end user flexibility. It can be customized according to the user needs. It integrates a wide variety of industrial protocols, offers a flexible platform for edge processing, and provides robust tools for managing the lifecycle of apps and devices. The open marketplace allows for easy access to third party apps and Siemens applications, extending the functionality of the platform. So, the next level of machine improvements. This emphasizes the importance of data and advanced software in driving machine enhancements. So the main goal is to make software more effective in analyzing machine data. So I have three sections here. So I'll explain you section wise. The first section is extended machine functionality. The focus here is on new advanced functionality for machines, particularly in the areas of uh, data collections, such as gathering relevant data from machines, example, condition monitoring, and uh, process storage and visualization means storing and making sense of the data for better insights and technology mentioned include edge computing open source and various programming languages and tools such as c plus plus html5 and sql so the image demonstrates the integration of different technology components that is it ai edge computing and various software tools to enhance machine functionality the second Section explains better remote management. So the section highlights the needs to reduce the time to market for machine software by improving remote management. Here we have an important word called time to market. Since technology is upgrading in a faster way, time to market is very important and it majorly focuses on the faster development of applications or the technology. And uh, this is achieved by using a centralized system for device applications and security management, allowing manufacturers or machine builders to quickly deploy new software and updates to customer. And the image illustrates a flow showing how machine builders deploy new softwares. And the third section is use of production shop floor data. This emphasizes here is on integrating machine data into cloud and IT systems for advanced analysis and optimization. And uh, it also underscores the flexibility of connecting machines data to cloud environment, making it easier to perform detailed analysis and optimize machine operations. And the image represents and shows how machine data is sent to the cloud analysis, optimizing shop floor operations. These are the ways to leverage cutting edge technologies to make machines more efficient, easier to manage remotely and smarter th through data driven insights. So this slide illustrates uh, Siemens customer centric pricing approach designed to facilitate easy entry and scaling with added values. So Siemens has introduced uh, several user benefits. So these user benefits are industrial edge hub access. Users will receive initial access to edge software like the industrial edge hub at no cost. And industrial edge devices, these devices are tailored to user needs, allowing customization according to specific requirements across different device variants. Industrial edge management licenses per managed devices. So licenses are issued, uh, issued based on the number of edge devices and tags used. The first license is free with subsequent license built annually per device. And industrial edge apps, there are no charge for self-developed apps and some essential apps like connectors for crucial database are provided for free. However, these apps available in the marketplace encourage yearly subscriptions fee per instances. And uh, the self-developed apps can be posted on marketplace and it will help other users to uh, use the app. So the next slide is explore our extensive app portfolio from Siemens and third parties. Incubation will focus on BrainCube and Tositbox app first. So I'll just give you the overview of these two apps. 
So BrainCube and Tosibox are two distinct companies offering solutions in different areas. So BrainCube, BrainCube specializes in providing data analytics and industrial IoT solutions. Their platform focuses on transforming data into actionable insights, helping manufacturers and other industries optimize their operations. Tosibox offers secure remote access solutions for industrial networks. Their products such as Tosibox Lock and Tosibox Key are designed to provide secure and straightforward remote connectivity for industrial control systems. So in summary, BrainCube and uh, Tosibox or uh, uh, BrainCube is centered around data analytics and Tosibox focuses more on secure remote access. And yeah, this slide focuses on extensive app portfolio within Siemens IED, that is industrial edge device platform, and uh, that integrates both Siemens and third party solutions. Uh, the focus of incubation will be on BrainCube and Tosibox, as I explained earlier. So industrial edge platform, the first row is apps, a collection of various Siemens and third party apps designed for different purposes. Within industrial environments like the flow creator, flow creator uh, is likely used to create flow workflows for edge devices, performance in, performance insights for monitoring and analyzing performance metrics and energy manager helps in managing energy consumption on the shop floor. Notifier sends notification based on predefined conditions. Machine insights monitor the machine data for the insight and uh, edge analytics for analyzing the data at the edge. And Lightwin, Semantic Automation Tool, data services, and third party apps such as other utility apps uh, catered to machine monitoring, automation, data handling. The data uh, in the middle row, industrial edge data bus that is MQTT. This is a central uh, data management layer that ensures seamless data flow between apps and devices, leveraging MQTT protocol for real time communication. And the bottom row is for connectivity. This section lists the different connectors uh, that link edge devices with data systems, cloud connectors, semantic connectors, OPC UA connectors, ERP connectors. So these ensure seamless communication between edge systems and various enterprises. Or local edge systems. So Modbus TCP connector, Profinet IO connectors, Ethernet IP connectors are the industrial communication protocols for machine level data exchange. Audio connectors, Cybus connectware, software, softing, cinematic CNC, these expand communication capabilities across other third party systems. Machine tool extensions, drive systems, framework, and cinematic connectivity. This specializes extension for integrating with machine tools, focusing on drive systems and CNC, that is computer numerical control environments. Focus on incubation. This slide highlights that the BrainCube and Tosibox will be the initial focus for further incubation efforts, meaning this will be prioritized for development, integrating and enhancement within the platform. So in summary, this slide illustrates the comprehensive capabilities of the Siemens Industrial Edge platform by offering a vast array of apps, connectors and services to enhance edge computing with particular emphasis on the integration and incubation. So this slide represents the use case of edge computing based on Siemens Industrial Edge. The first section is performance analytics. The purpose of this performance analytics is this section focuses on visualizing and analyzing production performance. It offers insights into the operational efficiency of machines and production systems. So the key action, it emphasizes the importance of having access to real time performance metrics to enable better decision making. Implementation wise, the service can be deployed within simplified approach termed as implementation as a service. Uh, use case suitable for businesses aiming to improve their production monitoring and capabilities. The second section is the shop floor to cloud connectivity. The purpose of this shop floor to cloud connectivity is that this uses case involves integrating machines and production data securely into the company cloud. Uh, the key actions are the data transfers from machines on the shop floor to cloud environment is necessary for real time data analytics, storage and advanced processing implementation wise. Similarly, the deployment process is available as a service focusing on secure and scalable integrations use cases. This is targeted at companies looking to synchronize their factory floor operation with cloud based systems for a centralized data rep repository. And the th third section is bring your own applications to shop floor. Purpose, this options allow users to deploy and manage their self-deployed applications on the shop floor. Technologies, this slide shows that uh, popular development tools like Docker, C+, SQL, Python, and HTML are supported, highlighting the flexibility developers. Key actions, this use case 
empowers developers to create custom applications tailored to specify shop flow requirements and deploy them in the production environment. Uh, and this process for deploying custom applications are simplified and implementation can be encouraged. Rapid application rollout. Overall, this slide provides an overview how Siemens Edge provide real data analytics, cloud integration and custom applications deployment to improve industrial operations and advance IoT strategies. So we'll move on to the next last slide. So why Mendix? So Mendix is a low code, no code application builder. You can customize your applications and uh, at a faster time to market. And Mendix is a be Mendix being a low code platform enables us to customize the workflows logics in the core module as per the customer needs at a faster rate. So Mendix is usually usually having a high demand in building the custom applications and has a lot of out of the box components or modules which can be readily used and uh, has a lot of component modules available in the marketplace which can be downloaded and used with minor configurations. Uh, so if you need if you need to modify a, a existing application which is available in the marketplace, that is very good to go with Mendix marketplace and readily available connectors with ERP, PLM and other systems, which makes the development faster. And we can build uh, our own widgets or modules based on the requirements. And there are uh, some reportings and dashboard templates that are readily available in the Mendix. I guess we are good to go and we're done with the session.